Hey, how's it going everybody? Cub Fan here, and welcome to episode 125 of Cub Fan's Minecraft Let's Play. And guys, uh, today we're going to be working a little bit in the nether, so I'm going to gather some supplies. We're going to need quite a bit of redstone, uh, some repeaters, probably some sticky pistons, and some half slabs and things of that nature. Um, so I'm going to grab that. While I'm grabbing all this stuff though, I do want to give a shout out to uh, two of our viewers here at the channel. Um, one is In The Flame Productions. Uh, he sent me this photo on Twitter um, of my Minecraft character, uh, giving a little, a little smile there. So thank you for that, In The Flame Productions. Appreciate that. Uh, let's see what else we're going to need. We might need some torches, perhaps. And I think. That will be good for now. We're going to need some pressure plates as well. Um, also, I want to thank uh, Frosty's son. Uh, he made this for me. This is a um, sort of a banner type of thing. Uh, it says Cupfan135, redstone at its finest. And it has my Minecraft character um, holding a redstone block. Uh, so very well done there, Frosty. He also actually has a YouTube channel um, where he did a speed art of this exact banner so go ahead and check that out I'll provide a link in the description but for now let's go ahead and head off to the nether and let's get this nether castle build going okay everyone so we are here in the nether now in the nether castle and what we're going to try to do here today uh, we're going to actually try to complete this nether castle drop um, so uh, many of you who have been following the channel uh, realized that this drop was always in intended to be used with slime blocks. Uh, so the idea is we come up here, if we're on one of these top, top layers here, we can run in, drop down here, these trap doors open, and yeah, then uh, obviously we wouldn't get stopped there by the, this block. We'd uh, bounce, and bounce down here onto slime blocks. Uh, but that wasn't possible before because we didn't have any slime blocks, but now we do. So let's go ahead and replace these with some slime blocks. There we go. And then we can actually go ahead and tower up and then destroy some of the blocks beneath us. It doesn't really matter if the blocks beneath us fall as long as we don't fall. those. We'll get rid of these as well. Alright. Get these two here. There we go. And if I did the test correctly and nothing changed since the snapshot uh, I tested this in, we should now be able to um, run through, jump on those tripwires, through those tripwires, fall down, hop back up, and then we might uh, hit our head on this trap door, but we should come back level with this um, this level here if, if we don't hit our heads on the trap door. So let's go ahead and try that now. I think this will work. I'm really hoping it does. Uh, I haven't actually tested this yet, so this will be the first time. <laughs> Just gonna go ahead and eat something real quick. All right, here we go. Test number one, three, two, one. Yep. All right, that seemed to work pretty well. Yep, we did hit our heads indeed on the uh, on the trap doors though. So we'll need to develop a system that when we land on these pressure, I'm sorry, on these uh, these slime blocks, uh, we'll actually go ahead and hit pressure plates like that. That'll activate redstone and open the trap doors for us um, in case we want to go back up immediately. Um, so that's the idea there. I think we got some stone in here. I'm gonna get this out. Um, obviously, this treasure room not looking like much of a treasure room right now. We still have a lot of aesthetic work to do. And I'm gonna get up there and get that gas to shut up because he's really annoying me right now. So I'm gonna get up there and I'll be right back.
All right, so what I've done here so far, I've made a stair step tower upward, and I'm going to connect this up to the system that controls uh, the, the trap doors here. And yeah, this this controls the second half of the trap doors. So what I'm going to do is now uh, that I have this, I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to hook up all these pressure plates here to a central line that will run underneath the floor. Um, so for this I'm actually going to do... Well, yeah, actually we'll do this. So... Have that. Oh, oh. Are they mad at me? No. Okay. For a second there I thought they were, but they're not. Okay. Good deal. So we'll have then um, a repeater coming out of these. And we'll have this line run all the way back here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then up from there. So we'll actually have to have one more repeater down here. Right there. So that gives us a two second tick delay between when we hit this and when we go up. I think that's going to be way too fast for what we need. But um, I'll do some testing and we can always add more repeaters so that the delay is perfect and uh, we can get up there and then fall uh, fall back down. So I'll test it out and see what we come up with. Okay, so here we go. Attempt one. This is on two ticks. So here we go. Three, two, one. And that might be actually too slow for us, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, it seemed like we fell and then bounced back up much quicker than this uh, two-tick pulse could handle. So, um, looks like we're going to have to go with the supercharged repeaters. Um, so not a big deal there. I'm actually just going to tear all this up. I figure we might have to do that since we did it with the other ones. But yeah, let me go ahead and put those in here and then we'll try it out again. Okay, so the first setup was a little bit too slow, so I went ahead and changed the design a little bit and uh, put this instant repeater here leading to the stair step pattern up. So this is pretty much as instant as it's going to get for this uh, design. Hopefully it's enough for me. Um, and I've also noticed that we might have a problem with pigmen activating this from time to time. Whoops. Accidentally caught me there. Alright, let's go ahead and try this. We'll get up there and we'll try it out. Alright, so here we go. Instawire, save us now. Oh, just about, just about. Pretty close there, I feel. Um... Yeah, I think you'll feel that was really close there. I'm actually going to try it again, but this time I'll try to move forward and see if I can actually get to the, uh, uh, get out of here. So, yeah, let's try it one more time. Alright, here we go. We're going to try and push forward this time. Three, two, one. Oh yeah, nice. That's sweet. Okay, let's try it from the third floor. I don't think it will be a problem at all from the third floor. We might actually take damage coming coming back, uh, but might as well test it. Here we go. Oh, still too fast for the third floor. That is interesting. Hmm. Well, let me see if there's something I can do about that. Okay, everybody, so we're working down here uh, on the redstone. I actually changed these torches so that they are on solid blocks directly underneath of these four blocks here instead of on the blocks behind them. Um, so that's one change. And I also uh, wired this up so that it is now all connected to the same pulse generator. So it's all connected to this pulse generator now. Uh, before this was over here and we actually had to have another insta repeater back this way um, just to let me fill this in just to get the second uh, set of doors trap doors to open 
Um, and that was causing some issues, especially when I'm recording. Uh, but that should be fixed now that we have it all run off the same source. Also, I added this little bit here. Um, this is actually a pulse lengthener. Uh, very basic. It's going to lengthen the pulse by about two and a half seconds almost. Um, and that's just going to keep the doors open so that I can get up and through them. Um, no matter if I'm on the third floor or the second floor, at least I hope that's what's going to happen. We're about to find out here. Um, let me just go ahead and run up to the third floor and we'll test this out real quick. So fingers crossed this will work. And actually I think I left a bunch of... Yep, I left a bunch of blocks down here, so I'm going to get rid of these. And also, uh, we actually don't need any... Um, let me just put this back. We don't need any redstone underneath of here. So we can actually get rid of those pressure plates there because they're not needed anymore. Um, so let me go ahead and get back up to the top and we'll test this out. Okay, so heading up to the top now. Going up all three stories. Careful not to fall off. Alright, so we're up here on the third floor now. And yeah, as I said before, there were some timing issues with those trap doors that were kind of weird. Um, but I think those have been fixed now, so let's go ahead and try it. Three, two, one. Aha! And then it should close. Aha! Yes, there we go. <laughs> so, that is definitely working 100% of the time now. Works from the second floor and the third floor. Um, yeah, very happy that's, that's done. Was not, uh, was not easy for me to do, I have to say. Had to think about it for a little while. And yeah, I'm actually going to go ahead and drop on down here. And... Drop on down, there we go. Alright, and spacebar. Nice. Yeah, we can actually get rid of all this and some of the wiring back here. Um, so we don't actually need any of this. So that's pretty good news. And yeah, after this... Uh, Oh, that was close. Okay, after this, um, I'm going to go ahead and yeah, fill this in. Uh, fill in the bottom part here, since we don't need it. And then we'll go ahead and work on a way to get back up. Okay, everyone, and I actually misspoke earlier. When I put these six items into the item hopper, um, this is not going to do 2.4 seconds. This is going to be 4.8 seconds, because once one item comes in here... Uh, because I have a repeater directly after the comparator, um, this will cut off this signal immediately and keep those open for longer than I want. So I'm going to go ahead and have that. So now it'll be uh, 2.4 seconds of time open, which I think is more than enough for what we need. Um, so yeah, that's, that's just a small minor correction there. I'm actually going to go ahead and we will fix this. Ta-da, there we go. All right, so that part of it is now done. Um, so now, need to figure out how we want to get back up. I'm thinking I want an area where we pop back up to be like right here. I think that would be nice to come out right by the portal and then we can just walk right over. That could be pretty sweet. Uh, plus there's not really a whole lot else I think that this room would be good for besides like an elevator here. Um, so yeah, let's have to be careful because there's like a lava thing to get rid of the roses that pop into here. Um, yeah, you just saw it come out there. But I think we can build it somewhere in here. And I think this would be a good place to put it. So I'm going to dig down here and see what I can come up with. Alright everybody, so next thing we have to do is actually put treasure in the treasure room because it's not much of a treasure room without treasure. I know I want to place like uh, ore blocks on the sides and also silk touch ores that I've mined on the sides. Um, eventually I think this room will be a little bit longer and it'll have a big grand staircase coming down from the nether garden that's right above there uh, once I expand that. But I need your input on what theme we should go with. We could do sort of like a hell freezes over type of thing where we have snow and ice. Um, in the nether, that could be pretty cool. Or we could do like a prismarine theme down here, where it's like glowing and shimmering. That could be pretty cool as well. Um, so give me your input uh, and thoughts on that. Maybe some woods, dark woods or something like that. 
uh, what theme should I go with with this treasure room? And yeah, let me know, and I might might do it. Um, so for now, we're gonna focus on the elevator here. So like I said, we're gonna go ahead and jump up here, and then it's gonna go over uh, to the next one here. And looks like we got somebody in the way here. Yep, as always, pigmen getting in the way. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and place down. So we already got our piston and everything situated here. Uh, we don't actually need that piece of dust. What we're going to do instead, uh, let's see. I'm actually going to go ahead and drop down here. We'll place dust right down here. And I'm going to actually clear out a bit of area here for the slime block. Because we want to go sticky piston there then we're going to need a slime block slime block here and then a redstone block right there and that should be our launch mechanism so let's go ahead and try that so if we come up here yep there we go works fantastic okay so we got our launch mechanism we can go ahead and fill in this area and we want to actually go about five blocks above here and make the second part. Alright, so then what we're going to do is we're going to actually come up a few blocks. So the slime block itself is actually underneath this, this block here. Uh, but we're going to place a repeater down like this. And that's going to be going into a sticky piston facing upward. Right there. Not like that though. Not like that either. Like that. We'll get rid of the one below it. Place a, <coughs> excuse me, a slime block on top there, and then all we have to do is we have to make a um, tripwire hook go across here, and put a piston in here to uh, go ahead and knock us over to the other, the other piston there. So that's what I'm going to do, and I'll do it one more time at the top, and I'll be back once the elevator is complete. Okay, we got the elevator complete now. If I stand here and look up, you can sort of see the design pattern. You see these glowstone blocks. Those are what sort of push you out into the next set of pistons. Um, but yeah, very straightforward pattern and design. I actually showed this in a snapshot video. So what you do is you stand here, hit this button, and then you don't press anything, and yeah, you're up to the top. <laughs> that simple. Um, so very straightforward. This is the entire... Um, footprint of it on the uh, ground level next to the portal so very small and compact um, I'll just show you again here real quickly Let me shift click there all right um, yeah very compact again so you go up push right up and push right again and you're up and you actually shoot up so high that you actually take uh, have hard of damage sometimes when you land but yeah I like that it's only uh, only one block has to be open here, and you sort of rock it through there. It's pretty cool to see. Um, but, yeah, that's that's the entire design done there. Um, so let's go ahead and head back to the overworld now, I guess. Alright. And it looks like it's night. We got a whole army of pigmen out here, looks like. Chilling in the, chilling in the pond here. Wow, that's a lot. How many is that? Five? Six? Seven? Eight? We got at least ten pigmen here. Yeah. It's a party. That's freaking awesome. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and go on down to the mine shaft now, I think. Um, next episode, we'll finish up that uh, that treasure room down there. Uh, but, uh, like I said, I'm going to try and keep these episodes a little bit shorter so we have more of them. And, yeah, we'll finish that up next time. Alright, down here in the mine shaft now, and I'm actually going to take a look down this way, uh, further down in the mine shaft, see how much room we have left to expand in this. So not too terribly much, probably I'd say about 25 or 30 more mine shafts to go before we run out of space. But for now, uh, we're still good on space now, so today's highlight channel is It's Jojo. Uh, it's Jojo is actually the same person as Frosty's son. Uh, they actually changed their channel name while I was recording the episode. Uh, so they're the people who made the 
thought I heard something there. Who made the uh, banner for me, uh, Redstone at its finest banner, which I showed at the very start. So I want to say thank you for that. It's JoJo. I really do appreciate that. And also check out their channel. They have a couple of good videos up on Minecraft and some speed art that they've done, um, which is pretty impressive in my opinion. So it's JoJo. This is your mind shaft. Let's go ahead and take a look and see how you do against the other competitors. All right, just finished digging out It's JoJo's Mine Shaft, and we got the following resources. Uh, so we got a lot of iron, uh, some redstone here, a bit of lapis, and some coal. Uh, the total points for this mine shaft come to 2,255 points. So let's go ahead and ride on back, and we'll see how this mine shaft fared against the others. Okay, everybody. So It's JoJo came in eighth place today with 2,255 points. And to finish off the episode, I think we're going to do a short fireworks show. Uh, so again, this is the smart fireworks display. Uh, so the sun is setting. I uh, hope you all had a happy July 4th. And also, if you're in Canada, happy uh, Canada Day. So, yeah. Uh, here we go. Three, two, one. Ignition. Alright, so again, happy July 4th to everybody. And hopefully you enjoy the show here. And screenshot. Whoops. Ha. <laughs> oh well. There we go, grand finale. Nice. And yeah, there's some stragglers, but yep, that's about it, guys. So thank you very much for watching. This is my Cup Fan. Goodbye.